Bamboo Darkies. Welcome to my channel. If it's not your first time watching, welcome back. I'm headed to an event tonight and I decided to do my blonde eyebrows and I filmed it. So if you are interested in how I do my blonde eyebrows with no bleach or just this overall very brown, very neutral kind of look, I did a little chatting and talked about some products, things like that, kind of walked you through the look. Stay tuned. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will try to put any products I feel like you need to know in the description box. Let's get to it. Okay, y'all, I know this looks insane. First of all, I have a shirt on, I promise. It's a bandle top. When I do my makeup, when I'm getting ready, I like to wear a bandle top because when I'm done, I can just get dressed and not have to worry about like trying to get a shirt off or anything. I did one eyebrow already because it's like doing your lashes and brows before you start filming because it can take a lot of time. And I didn't know how long these brows are gonna take. So this looks crazy right now, but just trust the process with me. We're gonna get it together. These, I haven't done these blonde brows in a very long time. So I honestly was like, do I remember what I did? I think the last time I really, really did these was like, oof, I don't know. Was it Renaissance? I don't know. But I like to use the Juvia's Place powder in the, what is this? White sands to go over it. I don't use a um, like gel or anything to lay the hair down because I'm gonna need the concealer to latch on to the hairs more than normal. I like to use Makeup Revolution C1 is a good starter. Um, and also depending on your blonde, you're gonna kind of be customizing your shade to your blonde specifically. So depending on what your blonde is at the time, I like to use one of these kind of like little mixing painters palettes. I have um, LA Pro, Pro Conceal in their like white shade. Then I have another Makeup Revolution in C12. Then my kind of one of my lightest shades in a Bobbi Brown concealer. And I just use that to mix what I feel is closest or most believable for my hair shade. A lot of times, sometimes I'll get like a true coverage of my black hair for my eyebrow hair. Like, so it really gives full on bleach. Sometimes I'll be honest, I'm not really caring. You get kind of that like effect either way. So I'm sometimes not really concerned with like full on coverage. If you're doing like drag eyebrow and you want full coverage, then you might wanna do like glue or use the brow gel to really lay your eyebrows down and almost paint on a new brow. But a lot of times just the concealer is enough for me for what I'm going for. Usually that gets the job done for me. So I like to put it on this little painter's palette, get a clean spoolie or a clean end of your eyebrow pencil, just something like this, mix it in on here. And it will take some editing sometimes. I usually like to start a little lighter because I can always darken up. Once you go too dark, it's kind of hard to... So see, this one's already kind of darker than the other one. Once you go too dark, it's harder to lighten it than the other way around. And I'm just lightly brushing it through my hair. I don't have a lot of eyebrow hair, so I just have to go really light so there's not too much to clean up, but just brushing it through. And the key is having a few different concealers because we want to create a few different shades of blonde, like your hair most likely is, so it's like dimension. I feel like I already like this eyebrow better. Go and do this one. Let me not mess up. See, when I start doing too much, is when I start messing stuff up. Keeps going anyway. How do sound, Mr. and Mr. Skateboard? Unless you find a concealer that is literally like your perfect blonde, you're gonna have to kind of mix and change. But honestly, when I bleach my hair, the blonde is always a little different depending on what toner I do and what stage my hair is and everything like that. So I customize it every time. Okay, so I do that, let that set a little bit. I'm going to add a little bit more of C1 because it's a little bit tanner than my hair is right now. C1 is a pretty, it has a little, pinkish almost in it. it has a little bit of a hue to it sometimes i'll add that la pro conceal white if i'm really in like a true platinum stage at the time but again like i said you're just gonna go and mix your shade until you feel like your eyebrow matches your hair enough bbl drizzy 
BBL Drizzy. When I tell you what was not on my bingo card was, first of all, that entire thing was not on my bingo card, but also, Kendrick put crack in them songs because I cannot get either of those songs out of my head. Okay. This definitely has more coverage in this one. So it's gonna look a little crazy in the process. I'm gonna let that set a little bit. And then I like to use the same powder with just a nice dense brush to kind of pack that concealer in. And the concealer is gonna help lighten it too. Cause it's not white, it's like this, but it's this very, very, very faint golden color. I almost feel like that brought some of my hairs back out. very much art. I just cannot commit to bleaching my eyebrows. I feel like bleached eyebrows for me feel like a colored wig, like a stripper wig almost. Like when it's, when you're at work, it makes complete sense. But when it's like 3 p.m. on a Wednesday and you're at Bilo, it just looks like, it looks unfinished. Like I can tell when you put it on and you're all together, it makes complete sense for the look. But undone, without all the pieces, it just looks, it looks weird. For me, for me. Again, eyebrows are always sisters, not twins, or cous might be cousins, might be di distant cousins. They be southern cousins where it's like somebody probably in the family might have, y'all might be low-key related somewhere. Y'all can't talk to each other, but you don't really know how you're related. They be like that. Same with the bleach ones. If you Don't get too close on them. But I feel like color-wise these are good. So then if I have to clean up a lot, sometimes I'll go in with a baby wipe if I have to like clean up a lot, but for the most part, I just go in with my concealer like normal and that'll do most of the work. Cause we're gonna use a concealer to also blend it out and make it not look as harsh. Before I do that, I'm gonna take a completely clean spoolie and just brush through some of that to make sure we give like hair like strokes. And then I kind of like to, just like you do with a regular eyebrow, soften the front, which we'll also do with the concealer too. Okay, now I'm taking my go-to girl, my milk concealer. My left eyebrow is always tricky. And a nice flat concealer brush. You gotta be careful because you don't wanna get concealer on the brow, but you just wanna carve it out underneath. This will help straighten up those lines. And I let it dry down a little extra because again, I don't want it to smear into the blonde. Y'all, I'm so excited. I don't have lashes to put on camera because I did my own cluster lashes. I tried to film it, but it was too much pressure. Maybe later, this is my first time doing it. Same thing on the top. We're just gonna clean up and let that set a little longer before we blend it out and we blend it out, we'll blend into the front. Harsh is kind of like backwards here because a harsh brown is kind of the idea, but it'll feel a little less harsh when the whole thing is together, but a little bit of an alien vibe is kind of what we're doing here, but we don't want it to feel, you know, too much. We still want it to feel put together. So where is my, is this the brush I'm using? Yeah. So now we're gonna blend this down onto our lid. Blend this up. Being careful of our actual blonde hair because again, you don't want Concealer all in your hairline. I'm gonna take this, no extra product, and just kind of 
buff the front of the brow a little bit just to soften it same here just to soften both of those out okay so that is how the brows are looking again i feel like it's the kind of thing where like this looks crazy without the full face on do you know what i mean i feel like it just looks like unfinished but once we get into everything i'm doing a lot with my look today so i'm not doing um, a lot of like eyeshadow and stuff like that. I'm just going to take my Charlotte Tilbury bronzer and a nice fluffy eyeshadow brush and just add a little bit of depth back into my eyelid. Again, avoiding those brows. And just kind of going into the crease and a little bit above my brow bone or a little bit right above or right below my brow bone, sorry. I do like when I have the blonde brows to like create a deep, a dark eye underneath it. I feel like it just adds to like the mysteriousness. So it's not a smoky eye. I'm not doing liner or anything. I'm just adding a darkened lid, which I don't have a ton of lid space. So I don't have a lot of eyeshadow look necessary anyway, but I feel like it just adds a little bit of depth. Going in with, the go-to girl milk primer the event today is outside. So I'm gonna keep that in mind. So we are locking and loading this face in, okay? This is an outdoor event and I'm not playing about it. We're priming the face down. I'm glad that I don't have hair because it did rain today, which means it's gonna be humid and God forbid it drizzles a little bit, but luckily I don't have to worry about that. I'm not even gonna do any kind of dewy situation because I'm oily combination. So the dew is gonna do what the dew's gonna do. I don't have to create the dew because I'm already, my face is gonna do it for me. So I am going to be using a little bit more of a matte foundation. You guys already know NARS in New Caledonia Deep. This is the soft matte complete foundation. She's a great girl. I am going to be getting Maybe against my better judgment, I'm going to be getting the Fenty um, Hydrate. Is it the visor? The the hydrating the hydrating foundation with SPF. SPF 30 in it. I'm interested in it. It's tinted and it has SPF. It has SPF in it. I can't talk today. It's tinted and has SPF in it. So I am going to try it because I'm an SPF girl and I do want like a summer option. So I'm going to try it because I want to see what it's about. I, I like that there's SPF and I like the option. I haven't tried a Fenty foundation in a long time. So I want to give it another try. It seems like a good one to try for me. Hydrating is not necessarily what I'm looking for, but I'm still just going to check it out and see. So I'm putting this on my mixing palette too. Now that I've let that milk hydro grip start to grip and I'm going to go in with my brush and start from the center. Oh, what a color match. Yes, I haven't done, oh, like get into her, come on, come on. I'm not doing a lot, like I said, with my face, but like the face look is brown. That's the theme. The theme of my face is brown. I just want to be, my decolletage is going to be, this do right is driving me crazy. My decolletage is going to be highly moisturized, glistening, glowing, and I just want to be very brown. Like, come on. That's New Caledonia Deep 2 is that shade. Love, love that match. Gotta be really careful. I'll probably blend my that hairline out somewhere with a beauty blender because I really don't want to get any on my hair. Love, love, love. I'm gonna go down to my neck some. I put out way too much product, but that's okay. So good. I haven't used this foundation in a long time, honestly. So I don't know if I just yelled at y'all or yelled at the camera, but it just made me really excited. I think I forgot, like how, did I just get some of my brows? Like that's what I be talking about. You got too excited. I think I got really excited because I forgot how good this color is. Sometimes when you're like trying new stuff or you're, you know, you get into new things, you forget why you love stuff, why something was your go-to. And now I remember. 
Do I want to add some product anywhere? She's medium to full, but she's buildable. So I'm just using the extra that I have to build up on my jawline um, where I have some hyperpigmentation. Do you see how the brows already getting wild? Look a little less crazy. All right, now let's build this under eye. I'm going in with the Too Faced. Multi-use sculpting concealer in maple. I'm gonna put her on the edge. And then I'm gonna grab my Pat McGrath in M17 and put her towards the inner corner. I'm ready so early, it's like 1.30. My event is at like six o'clock. <laughs> I, I just be ready sometimes. I don't know. Who knows? Maybe I'll take myself to eat before. I am hungry. Maybe I'll treat myself to a little beverage and a dinner before. I'm going to let this dry down a little bit. A million dollar baby. Mm, she's looking red. Huh, was she oxidizing on me? Okay, I'm gonna take, I've been big in my um, brush blending era with my concealer first. So I'm gonna start with my Real Techniques brush to start blending this out. I'm laughing because my friend just texted me about like dating up here and stuff. And I'm like, girl, humans are just, I don't like small talk. That's the thing. You just have to like talk to people and I just don't like small talk. And like, what's your favorite color? What do you like to do for fun? And I know that sounds crazy. Let me not say that. That's gonna make me sound like I just don't like humans. I mean, back to the makeup. Okay, so I'm gonna blend this out. I've left this set. Normally I would just use my fan or something if I wanted to set faster. But I'm gonna start from the outside and blend in. I like to really let this set for a little while because it doesn't like move as much. I hate when you automatically put it on and start blending and it just like, it will move everywhere. Suddenly you have concealer to your ear. And you were trying to highlight your under eye and that's now it's to your ear. And so I'm gonna really like blend for my life under the eye. I mean, I'm gonna like stipple it in in the same spot. Oh, concealing is just my favorite. Ooh, it's like, I feel like it's where you get to see it come together. Where you see like, ooh. Okay, I see what we were doing. You know when you're making macaroni and cheese and it's like, okay, you, you do all the ingredients and the cheese and the things, and the, but when you pull it out the oven and you see the cheese, or when you look in the oven and you see the cheese boiling, you're like, ooh, we making macaroni and cheese. Like it's not until then that you're like, ooh, this macaroni and cheese and it's about to be good. That's what concealer is for me. This is, the cheese is bubbling and I'm seeing that brown in the corner start to crisp up. This, the cheese is boiling. That's exactly what this is for me. I'm actually gonna let that sit even a little more there. And I'm gonna start blending this out cause I don't want this to, I can always soften the edges but I don't want this to set too much. Cause that pat will start to set and she won't go nowhere. I actually want to get more pat products because this concealer is really good. And I've always I've always wanted to try Pat products, but she's not inexpensive, which I mean, that's fine. I, a lot of products are not inexpensive and they're great products, so she deserves. But this is my first time trying some and there's, it's so good that I'm like, okay, yeah, I need to try some other products. And it's just for me, the at least the stores that I was going in, it wasn't a lot of products available. 
So now that they're more available in Sephora's and stuff, I definitely want to try more. I feel like this side is more covered than this side. I'm actually going to take my foundation brush and soften these edges some because I don't want that foundation to the ear situation. Same with the nose. I'm going to blend that out on my nose a little bit. I didn't add any product to the brush. I'm just softening the edges, keeping that highlighted in the center. I'm going to go in with my Fenty um, Match Stick and Espresso. And I'm just going to do a teeny bit, just a little bit, right above my bone. And I'm going to take is this a Morphe brush? It is, but I'm not sure of the number. And I'm just going to blend that up. Just add a little bit, but then I'm gonna use that Charlotte Tilbury to do a little bit more. Just wanna get a little bit more dimension back in. I flattened my face a little bit with the foundation. Then I'm gonna add a little bit here and here, just on my lower jaw, just to Bring that up and blend that up as well. Always going upward to snatch that jaw. I'm not gonna do my hairline because I didn't take my foundation all the way up to my hairline, so that's still naturally just a little bit darker. Don't get carried away, don't get carried away. Oh my gosh, I didn't set my under eye, who am I? I'm gonna take it back, way back, with Sasha Buttercup. Remember when she had the girls in a chokehold? I'm gonna take it back with Sasha. I'm gonna go with my little powder puff. And I'm gonna sit under my eyes with her. Brush some of the excess away. open your mouth while you're doing your makeup and make ridiculous faces. Did you even do your makeup? Were you even there? Brush some of that excess away. Did I throw my brush across the room? Like what happened? Oh, okay. Okay, boom. Ooh. I just wanted to hurry and set my under eye because I'm just, I just did not want that um, concealer to start turning on me and start drying out most importantly. Now I'm gonna go with this Charlotte Tilbury bronzer. Actually, no I'm not. I'm gonna go in with my blush, the Juvia's Place. Have you guys seen the sunset blush trend? I'm scared of her. It looks beautiful what girls do it, but I am terrified. Even this Juvia's Place is so aggressive that I just barely, can you even see that? I just barely dot it on. I'm just, it's very pigmented, which I love. The girls are putting like a lot of blush on in these ombre colors and they blend it out and it's like a sunset and it's beautiful. I'm just very terrified of it. I'm just afraid it's not gonna do right on me. Maybe I just need to play with it one day when I'm not going anywhere. It looks so beautiful in them, but I just, I don't know. I'm, one, I'm like, are y'all editing this? Is this happening in real time? I just feel like the colors are not gonna do that on me. It's not gonna blend that same on me. But it's very pretty. I start slow with the Juvia's Place because I can always build. But once we are home with the clown, we, there's no turning back. Okay, I think that's enough. See how I already am like, all right, all right, all right, all right. Calm down. You're getting great. Okay, okay. There's that foundation brush. Always blot it out a little bit. I cannot believe I'm dressed this early. Are you a psycho? Are you a psycho? I uh, yes, but are you a psycho? When my brother sees me, he's gonna be like, why are you dressed four hours early? 
I'm going with Charlotte Tilbury bronzer and I'm going to bronze. I'm going to bronze like I'm contouring. Taking that. Um, I'm going to take that, extend it from the eye where I had it and take that down the side of my nose. I don't really do a nose contour, so this is kind of my version of just emphasizing the nose a little bit. Boom. And then, boom. Big old brush. We are going to take, what is this? Skin Deep, Darkest Deep. Skin Finish and Dark Deepest. And that's what I'm gonna use to kind of set. My face. Going to do a nice naturally nudie lip. I am actually going to use a eyebrow pencil, the chestnut rich brown dupe that you are looking for is an eyebrow pencil. I'm telling you, it is an eyebrow pencil and it's cheap. If you're like me, you have lost more chestnuts than you have purchased. I know it doesn't make sense, but it does. Buy an eyebrow pencil. This is Mac Honey Love, is this what I wanted? Maybe, maybe not. And this is NYX Caramel. She's very skin tone. Just a hint of color. And then we gonna set the face. Going in with the one size aerosol. Let me make sure this isn't like clogged up. Oh, that's the first time I've closed my eyes really hard since I did my lashes and I'm pretty sure they just stuck to my face. That actually just scared me. Note to self, don't close your eyes hard at this event. I actually feel like I should set my under eyes again. Did y'all see the fear strike over me? Oh my gosh. Then we're gonna go in with all nighter. How do I do this without closing my eyes? Okay, so that is my face for the evening. I will put in a few pictures or some video of my final look with my outfit and everything like that. And thank you guys so much for watching. Um, if you have any questions or anything like that, you know where to put them in the comments below. And I will see you in the next video.